Welcome. This is ABC Hotel in Angeles City. Yep. <laughs> I probably personally travelled to over 40 countries, uh, stayed in hotels in all of them, and in fairness, a lot of them were shit hotels, uh, budget ones, but um, some of them were kind of nice. Up until now, my favourite hotel has been the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas. It was absolutely amazing. But now that I'm here in Angeles City and the Philippines, this hotel just blows them all out of the water. If you can have a look at this. So we're in the Aqua Suite. There's, uh, I'll uh, show up the prices and so on. So this is $120, um, 6,000 pesos. So we're in our room. So Michaela over there, she wanted to make this video before we completely mess the place up, but we mess the place up. <laughs> so we mess the place up. So this is our bed and this is our bathroom. Well, that's the it's toilet. Messy. Yes, it's a bit messy, babe. So as you go in, we've already used the hot tub. So the, this is just fantastic. Hot tub, bedroom, what, what, what? So, yeah. So, um, so yeah, the uh, ABC Hotel is, for me, the best hotel I've ever stayed in. Uh, the Hard Rock Hotel in Vegas was before that, and uh, really I was spending about $250 a night in Hard Rock. This is half the price. It's 25% less because lockdown and so on. Um, this is the Aqua Suite. They have so many other ones. I'll show you what the Millennial Suite looks like because last time I stayed here, I stayed in the Millennial Suite and it's kind of fun. The rest of it is incredible and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take you on a tour now. All right, we're still in ABC and uh, I'll show you the pool area. So uh, a lot of people ask me and questions I get through the channel and so on is how much does it cost to live in the Philippines? How much is your lifestyle? And so uh, it very much depends. Um, for example, it depends what you want as a lifestyle. I mean, do you want to live on rice or do you want to eat lobster? Um, I mean that um, literally and also metaphorically. So, how to explain this? This is one of the coolest hotels, probably the coolest, well, absolutely the coolest hotels I've stayed in. Uh, the room is, uh, I didn't get the cheapest room. The room's $120 a night, uh, 6,000 pesos. So you can live this lifestyle or you could stay in Hotel America, which apparently is still open and still functioning. So my point is, um, it depends how you live. If you're eating, uh, if you're eating rice, rice is pretty much the same price in any country you go to. So uh, lobster is expensive here. So like I said, metaphorically, um, the more extravagant lifestyle you have, the cheaper it's, well, the better value it's going to be. So I went to Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas, had a pretty basic standard room, and it was around $250 a night. I'm staying in a much cooler hotel for half the price. The, the drinks are a lot less and so on. And okay, I'll get my face out of it. We, I'll show you the cabanas are over there. I've stayed there before. So, um, for example, when I was in the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas, the uh, to get a sun lounger was three hundred dollars consumable. Uh, to get a, a double bed beside the main pool was five thousand dollars consumable. I mean, to go through five thousand dollars is incredible. And uh, also, beers were about. How much was it? It was forty-five dollars for six beers, and they were cans in a bucket. Whereas uh, a cabana like this on a Sunday is uh, it's eight thousand 
to 8,000 pesos, $160 a day consumable. So if there's a few of you, you go for it extremely easily. So Las Vegas, $300 for a sun lounger, $500 for a bed beside the pool, or come to the Philippines, a massive cabana, and uh, I showed videos about this before, and it's not just the cabana. Don't want to bother going to the swimming pool? You go down the steps. It's like a boat. So you've got your own shower, private shower, bathroom, and so on. So, uh, so yeah, uh, cost of living in the Philippines, yes, it's cheaper. But uh, if you live on rice in Ireland or America or UK or Germany, Spain, wherever you're from, uh, it's not going to make much of a difference. But the more extravagant you are, uh, the more you save, basically. So you can live like a rock star here for not very much money. So this is Sunday. Normally Sunday and Saturday, Sunday, this place is heaving. But uh, thankfully, um, I've been coming here since 2019. So I have some old footage. So in two weeks, three weeks beyond, it should look like it's all self again. So um, what I'm going to do now is let's go exploring the rest of the hotel. So yeah, one of the cool things about this hotel is they have this game. And uh, these are the prizes. So it's uh, 200, uh, 200 pesos a go, four dollars. And if you get it on the one, it's a bottle of absolute. And even if you get it on anything else, it's usually a shot. So... Yeah, that was it. Uh, obviously, we're on the cabana over there, but they have. Lots of other cool cabanas. I love the little touches to this place. And this is, that's our room there. This is the hallway leading to the elevator. This is the area going up to the main pool bar. As you can see, it's pretty cool. So, spa, millionaire lounge, gym, Let's go and take a look. So, uh, yeah, my girlfriend, Nikayla, she, uh, oh, there we go. Someone having a nice spa time. Yeah, there's a hot tub on the roof as well, but unfortunately they've been empty for two years. There's a sauna also closed. So this is the gym. I always have very good intentions of going to it anytime I'm up here. But uh, now, this is the first time I've actually been in it. So, as you can see, it's a really cool, very functional gym. Oh, there's that lovely hotel. So yeah, like I said about, you know, cost of living people say, how much do you spend? Well, it depends. You can stay there or you can stay here. Um, my lifestyle is, um, more rock star lifestyle and I pay a lot less for it than I would if I lived in Ireland or California or anywhere like that so uh, oh and the other handy thing is as you can see right across the street is a enormous mall so yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much the hotel uh, I know I made a video before about uh, fields um, Fields Plaza Hotel and showed the pool and everything here but uh, yeah they're sister hotels and this is uh, this is more refined um, Fields is good if you're staying here long term uh, for example last time it was strict lockdown in Manila so I went up to Fields 
we spent about 12 days, 10, 12, 14 days there. So it was 3K a night. So it made more sense to stay there. Uh, this trip is just being an overnighter. So we thought, fuck it, uh, we'll get a nice aqua suite and stay here. So for me, Hard Rock Hotel Vegas, mm, ABC Hotel, way up here. Best hotel ever.